Welcome back to another geography video and this is a special one. I am organizing a quiz with 50 questions. The quiz originally took place on my Twitch channel, but in this video you can have a look at the questions and see how well would you have done. Good luck everyone. Good luck everyone. The first question. I'm so excited. <laughs> a lot of, lot of work went into this. Which one of these countries has the largest population? Eritrea, Paraguay, Laos or Greece? Which one of these has the largest population? Okay, this was a close one. Actually, the most people said Laos, interestingly enough. However, Greece has the population of 10.7 million. Others have population around 6 to 7 million. So good luck. Next question. Find the spot. Find the spot. So the closer you get to this correct spot, the more points you get. This is, should be an easy one. We have a nice, nice big sign right here, which says, Welcome to Miami Beach. Which shouldn't be too difficult to find, I hope. <laughs> we have some, some other signs here to, to help you pinpoint the location maybe better. The one beach I can find. Yes, this is one of the few beaches that I can find in GeoGuessr. It was indeed Miami Beach, as the name suggested. And well done, a lot of people finding the exact spot. Find the spot. Where is this famous place located? So we get a picture. Where is this building in this picture located. Try to, again, try to pinpoint it as close as possible. This is quite quite a well-known place. How, how are you all doing? It was indeed in Versailles. The Palace of Versailles is a former royal residence outside of Paris. It has held sway in the public imagination for years because of its architectural grandeur and political history. Next question, the quiz time. What is the name of the oldest surviving world map that is currently located at the British Museum in London? Is it Nebra Skydisk, Imago Mundi, Hecatecus's map, or De Situ Orbis? Sorry for my pronunciations, <laughs> but but I hope you get the get the gist. And how did everyone do? Oh, this, uh, this one is uh, close. Imago Mundi is the right answer. Imago Mundi is the name of the Babylonian map, which is the oldest world map in the world. It has been dated to the 6th century BCE. Another quiz question. Who created the term geography? Was it Al-Idrisi? Was it Ptolemy? Was it Erat Eratosthenes? Or Hipparchus? I mean, we all, we all love geography here, but who, who created the term? This is a tr tricky one, a tricky one. It was, it was close. A lot of people thought it might be Ptolemy, but it was Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes of Cyrene, a Greek mathematician, geographer, and astronomer, coined the term geography and hence is referred to as the father of geography. And the next question again, find the spot, find the spot. Where is this location? These are some pretty well-known places. If you don't know the famous places, just, just look around. Maybe you find some other clues here. But I feel like this this um, building itself, I think it's like a hotel, was it? Or a mall. It's a very, very famous one. And it was indeed in Singapore. It was indeed in Singapore. A lot of people recognized it. What effect is used by GPS to track objects? Is it Doppler effect? Is it Raman effect? Yarkovsky effect? Or Barkhausen effect? We use GPS in our everyday lives, very, very related to geography as well, but what effect is used? Around finished, it is Doppler effect indeed. Doppler effect is also related to sound, it's basically like frequency, how frequency change is based on uh, the object's movement. Again, what's the country? This mountain was named after Realm of the Gods in Norse mythology, but in which country is it? Select the country on your screens. And the right Answer was Canada. Oh, Canada, indeed. This Norse mountain is in Canada. Mount Asgard is a twin-peaked mountain with two flat-topped rock towers. It is located in Aoyituk National Park in Baffin Island, Canada. The peak is named after Asgard, the realm of the Aesir in Norse mythology. And this is an interesting one. This round is no moving, panning, zooming. You cannot look around here. But we have some very useful clues right in front of us. So be, be careful. Have a, have a close look what you see here. How did everyone do? We have a lot of 5Ks as well. 221B Baker Street is the London address of the world's most celebrated fictional detective, Sherlock Holmes, and his dedicated companion, Dr. Watson. So it was the Sherlock Holmes' house and the museum right next to it. So next, where can you find this building? Is it in Kingston, Australia? Is it in Kingston, Canada? Is it Kingston, Jamaica? Or is it Kingston upon Thames, UK? Where can you find this building? I have a feeling it might be in Kingston. 
that, that's a little hint from me. Kingston, Canada is the right option. Indeed, it was in Kingston, Canada. You could have a look. Yeah, you can see some license plates here in this picture. And you can see we're driving on the right side. So those are some clues you might have noticed, maybe. Kingston City Hall is the seat of the local government in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Occupying a full city block facing Lake Ontario, the City Hall is a prominent building constructed in the neoclassical style with a landmark dome. Canada was the only country with the right side traffic. Mm -hmm. Where can you find the largest castle in the world by land area? Is it Malbork, Poland, Liege, Belgium, Pilsen, Czechia, or Timisoara, Romania? It is the castle in this picture. It is that one. But which country is it? Which city is it? It is indeed in Malbork, Poland. Good job. Oh, a couple of people have been here. The castle of the Teutonic Order in Malbork is a 13th century Teutonic castle and fortress located near the town of Malbork, Poland. It is the largest castle in the world measured by land area and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is an interesting one. This is an interesting location here. We have uh, some, some cool looking buildings. Again, try to pinpoint this as close as possible. Test subject is the closest here, again, nicely done. It was in Bangladesh, near Dhaka. So, as the capital of the 15th century Bengal ruler Isa Khan, Panam Nagar was once an important trading and political center. Although the buildings are now mostly in ruins, the historical city boasts architectural examples from the Sultanate, Mughal, and British colonial periods. Another quiz question. Juba is the capital of which African country? Do you know your capitals? Is it Benin, South Sudan, Burkina Faso, or Cameroon? Let's see. And the right answer is indeed South Sudan. Nicely done. Nicely done. Most people did know it. Juba is the capital and largest city of South Sudan. The city is situated on the White Nile and also serves as the capital of the Central Equatoria state. Quiz time. Which one of these countries is not landlocked? Is it Laos? Is it Democratic Republic of the Congo? Is it Azerbaijan or Malawi? So, which one of these countries has access to an ocean? Well done, well done. Most people seem to have guessed Democratic Republic of the Congo. Even though Azerbaijan has access to Caspian Sea, Caspian Sea is a tricky one. It's not a sea, it's, it's a lake. That was a little bit tricky one there. But okay, next question. Again, find the spot. Some pretty famous, famous scenes here. This is a quite a famous tower, so will you be able to find this spot? Try to find it as close as possible. Oh, we have a lot of perfect scores, perfect guesses here. Nicely done. Nur Sultan, previously known as Astana, is the capital city of Kazakhstan. The city acquired its present name in 2019 following a unanimous vote in Kazakhstan's parliament. It was named after Nur Sultan Nazabayev, president of Kazakhstan from 1990 to 2019. What mountain is nicknamed the Savage Mountain? Is it Chimborazo? Is it Cho Oyu? Is it K2? Or is it Rainef Jordan? So how did everyone do? Well, a lot of right guesses, correct? It was K2. It was K2. K2 became popularly known as the Savage Mountain after George Bell, a climber on the 1953 American expedition, told reporters it's a savage mountain that tries to kill you. We have another quiz question. What was the hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth? Was it 56.7 degrees Celsius, 59.4, was it 53, or 61.2? Maybe you know it, maybe it's completely random guessing for you. Yeah, I mean, I feel like many people know where it is, but, but, oh, okay, two answers were in the lead here, but the correct answer is 56.7 degrees Celsius. The hottest temperature on Earth was recorded on 10th of July 1913 at Furnace Creek Ranch in Death Valley in the United States. Next location, can we pinpoint this? This one shouldn't be too difficult as well, there are a couple of very good clues here. Let's have a look what we have here. Hmm, this might be helpful. We have something else here as well. We have even the country name, in case you don't know where Kilimanjaro is. We have a flag here on the plate. So we have a lot of clues in this location. We were in Tanzania, indeed. Right here, Londorossi Gate. It was right here on the map. It did say Londorossi Gate on one of the signs. Another quiz question. What is the line on a map that connects points of equal temperature called? Is it isobar? Is it isotherm? Is it isothone or thermitone? What are these lines in this picture called? The lines that connect an equal temperature. You might have seen pictures like these on your weather channel. What are they called? 
and it is indeed isotherm. They are called isotherms. Isotherms are commonly used in meteorology to show the distribution of temperature at the Earth's surface. So find the spot. Where is this? Many of you might be watching my satellite view videos. So where is this looking from satellite view? This location marked with the little GeoGuessr pin. If you watch my satellite view videos, this one should be easy. It was right here in Patagonia. The name Patagonia comes from the word Patagon. Magellan used this term in 1520 to describe the native tribes of the region, whom his expedition thought to be giants. Okay, what do we have here? This is an interesting one. If you look up, whoop, <laughs> there's a person there. There is a person there. But they are safe, don't worry. They're not falling, they are safe. But where would this be? This is official coverage, official coverage. You can move around if you want. So where would this be? He's a famous American climber. Oh, so if you, if you recognized him, that might have been a good clue that it was indeed the US of A. It was Yosemite Valley. Yosemite Valley is a glacial valley in Yosemite National Park in the western Sierra Nevada mountains of central California. The valley is surrounded by high granite summits such as Half Dome and El Capitan and densely forested with pines. Yos Yosemite? Yosemite, is it? Oh no, sorry for my pronunciations. Yosemite? Yosemite? Oh god, <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, next question, a quiz time. Clo quiz time. What is Brazil named after? Is Brazil named after explorer Fernando Brazil? A river? Brazilian gold frog? Or Brazilwood tree? A really nice country, very big country. And let's see, it was indeed Brazil with tree. Fernando Brazil, I completely made up. There is no such person as Fernando Brazil, not to my knowledge. But a lot of people thought it might have been named after Fernando Brazil. Brazil was initially called Vera Cruz, but it was soon renamed Brazil because of the copious amounts of Brazil wood found there that yielded a valuable red dye. Which continent has all of these places? Right here in the picture, we have three beautiful, beautiful places. Which continent are they from? Are they in Asia, Australia, Africa, or North America? Tree was named after Fernando Brazil. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let's see how many people got it right. Well done. Well done. A lot of people did answer Australia. The places in the photos are Pora Pora, Moeraki Boulders, and Uber. Which of these islands is not part of the Philippines? Is it Palawan, Lombok, Bohol, or Leyte? How well do you know your Filipino islands here? Lombok. Indeed, the correct answer is Lombok. Lombok is an Indonesian island east of Bali and west of Sumbawa, part of the Lesser Sunda Island chain. And the 25th middle question of the quiz. Find the spot very interesting looking architecture. Now, where would this be? If you don't recognize this particular place, you can look around at some signs. Signs might be helpful. Time is up. And how did everyone do? Oh, a lot of people found the exact spot. Nicely done. Nicely done, everyone. It was indeed in Barcelona. Park Güell is a privatized park system composed of gardens and architectural elements located in Carmel Hill in Barcelona, Spain. Quickly, before we continue, there was a lot of time and effort put into making this quiz, so if you haven't already, please press that like button, I would really appreciate it, and maybe even leave a nice comment. Thank you very much. So the next question is, what is the city in this picture? Is it Cusco, Peru? Is it Sucre, Bolivia? Is it Mendoza, Argentina? Or is it Cali, Colombia? A lot of people getting it right, good job. It was Cusco, Peru, indeed. Cusco, a city in the Peruvian Andes, was once the capital of the Inca Empire and is now known for its archaeological remains and Spanish colonial architecture. How many countries does Kazakhstan border? Is it four, five, six, or seven? Too many. Well, we'll see. We'll see how many. Round finished. Who? A lot of people getting it right. It is five indeed. Oh, most people getting it right. Good job. So Kazakhstan shares borders with Russia, China, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. So five in total. Try to find this uh, spot as close as possible. A very beautiful building. Very colorful in a lot of details. Like a tiger with a sun on the back. And like, some, like a dove running away or something. A very interesting and beautiful, beautiful place. But where is it? Can you find it? How did we do? It was in Uzbekistan. For several centuries, Sherdor Madrasa was a well-known Muslim educational institution where outstanding philosophers and theologians studied. 
Next one. What is the most populous Muslim majority nation? Is it India, Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, or Egypt? And the correct answer is Indonesia. The vast majority did answer it correctly. Indonesia is the country with the largest number of Muslims, which is estimated to be around 231 million. This is 86.7% of the Indonesian population and nearly 13% of the world's total population of Muslims. Which one of these is not a national language of Switzerland? Is it French, Romansh, Italian, or English? A lot of national languages in Switzerland, but which one is not the, the national one out of these? Romansh is a language. It is a language. One of the national languages of Switzerland, indeed. Switzerland has four national languages. German, French, Italian, and Romansh. English is not one of the national languages. Some apparently easier rounds for you, because a lot of people, most people getting the questions right. How many people will find this location? We have a no moving round somewhere in the world, but where? We have a big, beautiful mountain in the distance. Maybe some of you recognize it. And let's have a look. It was indeed right here. Bezimyanni is an active stratovolcano in Kamchatka, Russia. It had been considered extinct until 1955. It, it was not Mount Fuji, no. <laughs> what is the Swedish word for Sweden? Is it Sverige? Is it Strumpa? Is it Skramma? Or is it Schweiz? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of these, by the way. I feel like if you like watch like hockey or other other for like sports, you often see like Sverige on their like shirts and stuff. Fun fact about Sweden: Sweden is the country with the most islands in the world. Who owns the land of Antarctica? Is it twelve separate countries? Is it no one? Is it United Nations or is it Interparliamentary Union or IPU? Hmm, which one is it? The correct answer is no one. Antarctica is governed internationally through the Antarctic Treaty System. However, it is not owned by any nation. Another quiz question. What is the name of the geological feature in the picture? So the picture is right there. What is it? Is it hoodoo or the fairy chimney? Is it the blowout? Is it the singing sand or whistling sand? Or is it the Eye of Sahara or the Richard structure? Hmm. It is indeed the Eye of Sahara. The vast majority of you got it. It does kind of look like an eye. The Eye of Sahara, also known as the Richard structure, is a geological dome containing rocks that predate the appearance of life on Earth. Pretty old rocks there. Which pair of these cities have the largest joint population within city borders, not metro area? Is it Cartagena, Spain and Cartagena, Colombia? Is it Orleans, France and New Orleans, LA, USA? Is it Newcastle upon Tyne? UK and Newcastle in South Africa, or is it San Salvador in El Salvador and Salvador in Brazil? It is indeed San Salvador and Salvador. Salvador in Brazil out of these cities, I believe, was by far the largest, so it kind of carries this pair. These two cities have a total population of approximately 3.1 million inhabitants. The Durand Line is an internationally recognized, albeit controversial, border between what two countries? Ethiopia and Somalia, Belize and Guatemala, Afghanistan and Pakistan, or Guyana and Venezuela? US and Canada? Hmm. The right answer is indeed Afghanistan and Pakistan. Although the Durand Line is internationally recognized as the western border of Pakistan, it remains largely unrecognized in Afghanistan. Another quiz question. What is the largest desert in the world by area? Is it Great Australian Desert? Is it Sahara Desert? Is it Antarctic Desert or is it Gobi Desert? A lot of deserts here, but which one is the largest in the world by area? The correct answer is Antarctic Desert. The Antarctic Desert is the largest desert in the world, expanding over 14 million square kilometers. The second largest desert is the Arctic Desert. A lot of people saying Sahara, which, I mean, makes sense, but Antarctic Desert is bigger. Find the spot. Can you find this interesting, interesting monument? Hmm, what is this monument and where is it? Can you find it? Plus, there's a cute doggo here and there were some more doggos here. That's why Impy and I, we chose this location, because we had a bunch of doggos here. Very cute. So, and the time is up. The time is up. Did anyone... Ooh, some people 5 k it. Well done. Molega and DL with a perfect score. Nicely done. Nicely done. Many people did guess Buenos Aires. Floralis Generica, homage to all flowers, is a sculpture made of steel and aluminum located in Plaza de las Naciones Unidas. It is 20 meters high and weighs 18 tons. 
Is it? Al it's aluminium. Uh oh, my, my notes are wrong then. Find the country which has three official languages, Bislama, English and French, in 2003 opened world's first underwater post office and has Boris Tusk on its flag, symbol of traditions and prosperity often worn by its citizens. A pretty long question, but how many of you got it? It was Vanuatu. Vanuatu has the world's highest linguistic density per capita. For a population of 300,000, Vanuatu is home to 138 indigenous oceanic languages. Which flag does not represent an island country? Is it A, B, C, or D? I'm not saying which countries these are, so you either recognize the flag or you don't. You either know the flags or you guess. And a lot of people got this right, so well done. It was indeed B. Burundi is a landlocked country in the African Great Lakes region, bordered by Rwanda to the north, Tanzania to the east and south, and Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west. B for Burundi. Brunei is considered island country. I, I double and triple checked it. Brunei is considered an island country. It is, it is fully on an island, even, even though it doesn't own the whole island. It still is fully on an island. What is the highest mountain in the United Kingdom, excluding overseas territories? Is it Ben Nevis, Ben Macdui, Ben Lowers, or Ben Dover? So, it is Ben Nevis, indeed. It is Ben Nevis. Next location, what do we have here? We have a beautiful statue, but where is it? Again, another pinpointing one. Can you find the exact location of this beautiful, beautiful statue? Some clues around, some clues around if you don't recognize it. I didn't know about this this place before, but it's really beautiful. It was in the Philippines. Well done, Getty Megan 5K-ing it. Finding the exact location. The Mother of All Asia Tower of Peace is a monument, sculpture, and shrine dedicated to the Virgin Mary located inside the five-hectare pilgrimage site called Monte Maria in Batangas City, Philippines. About how many rivers are there in Russia? 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, or 100,000? Approximately how many rivers are there? Too many is the correct one. A million. Oh, that's that's not an option. Oh, okay. Interestingly enough, 50,000 and 10,000 got more guesses, but the right answer is 100,000. Russia has about 100,000 rivers, including some of the longest and most powerful in the world. It also has many lakes, including Europe's two largest, Ladoga and Onega. In the movie The Margin, this building played NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. But where is it really located? Is it located in Riga, Dublin, Budapest, or Sofia? So I guess it's not in Houston, Texas after all. But where is it located? Well done, a lot of people did get it that it is in Budapest. The Budapest Whale, or Balna in Hungarian, is a modern shopping, cultural, and entertainment center on the east bank of the Danube. You can see some architecture behind the building, which, which kind of felt Hungarian as well. The next location, can you pinpoint this place? We have some signs here. Maybe they help. You can move around, of course. Maybe look for some other clues. But yeah, we have this, this interesting bridge here. This interesting bridge. You know, where would it be? I I'm not sure if I would be able to find it myself if I had to. How did everyone do? No one got a perfect score here, although a lot of people got a very close one. It was the Ishima Ohashi Bridge, which is a rigid frame bridge in Japan that connects Matsue and Sakai Minato. It is the largest rigid frame bridge in Japan and the steepest bridge in the world. The world's longest above water mountain range is the Andes, but what is the second? Rocky Mountains, Great Dividing Range, Transantarctic Mountains, or Southern Great Escarpment? Oh, interesting that the correct answer is the least, least popular among the respondents. That's an interesting one. The Great Escarpment is a major topographical feature in Africa that consists of steep slopes from the high central southern African plateau downward in the direction of the oceans that surround southern Africa on three sides. What is the name of the rare phenomenon captured in this photo? Is it Heligenschein? Is it Moonbow? Is it Glory? Or is it Broken Spectre? It could be considered a rainbow, but, but I'm looking for something else, obviously. I'm looking for one of these four. 
it was Moonbow. The correct answer was Moonbow. A Moonbow, sometimes known as a lunar rainbow, is an optical phenomenon caused when the light from the moon is refracted through water droplets in the air. So basically, it's a rainbow in the night, which you don't see very often. We are in some museum, apparently, here. But where would this museum be? If you look around, maybe the language helps, maybe the pictures or the artifacts help. Where would this be? Where would this be, I wonder? Oh, we have some close guesses. Kwatu San Culture and Education Center shows and preserves the culture of the Sun people of Southern Africa. The Sun were the earliest group of hunter-gatherers that lived in South Africa. Which of the following is not a biogeographic realm or echo zone in WWF or Udvari's system? Is it Palearctic? Is it Afrotropical? Is it Indo-Malayan? Or is it Amerotropical? Maybe a bit tricky one, but well done. Well done. Many of you got this. Many of you got this. Good job. A biogeographic realm or echo zone is the broadest biogeographic division of Earth's land surface based on distributional patterns of terrestrial organisms. Very advanced. Very, very above my pay grade, so to speak. And the last question of the quiz before we figure out who the lucky winner is. Its mass is estimated at more than 60 tons, and it is the largest known intact example of its kind on Earth. But what is it? Is it Tarpole siltstone? Is it Rosetta stone? Is it Hoba meteorite or Lopolith intrusion? What is it? It is Hoba meteorite. Well done. The vast majority did get it right. The Hoba meteorite, short for Hoba West, is a meteorite that lies on the farm of the same name, not far from Grufontein, Namibia. It has been uncovered, but because of its large mass, has never been moved from where it fell. Well done, Link in the first place, Grant in the second place, and Test Subject in the third place. Well done! Congratulations to all the participants. On the right side, there will be another geography quiz I organized a while ago. If you enjoyed this video, I know you will enjoy that one as well. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another and see you in the next video.